My name is Brian Sloma. We're at Spirit Lake Cycles. We're in downtown Los Angeles, um, not the heart of it, but south downtown, sort of south central USC area. We got here just on a whim. Started a Facebook page, and then this came about. Just started it, started building bikes, and people came. Spirit Lake is a town I grew up in. It's the northwest corner of Iowa, super little town, and that's where they build Indian motorcycles now. And so it's kind of got a rich heritage with motorcycling, and then that's what we named it after. So one night we were like, hey, let's create a Facebook page and see if people like it, because we'd had customers before, but we never had any media. We n never had a website, and people started to like it, and we started getting calls, and people started coming. My name is Ken Chan, and uh, we're at Spare Lake Cycles here in downtown Los Angeles. Um, it's a motorcycle shop. I met Brian through the car scene. Me and him were both kind of into modifying cars. When we met each other, we just clicked. We had the same aesthetic a lot of the time. Uh, we love the same things. And so I act as kind of like a sounding board for things we work on, bikes, as far as aesthetically. Since we both have like the same uh, ideas about the same things, it's kind of like proofreader, you know? Uh, well, sometimes when you become too ingrained in an idea, you need someone to bounce ideas off of that still kind of suits your aesthetic, and that's kind of uh, what I am. Well, the Moto Guzzi is almost done. Uh, it still needs to be painted, but um, what we like to do is obviously um, talk to the owner of the bike to see what suits their aesthetic. We also have a certain sense of style with our bikes, but um, the people we work with, we hope we have the same, like at least base sense so we can work with them. And then we'll also, we'll build a bike that suits their aesthetic, you know. But we won't go crazy, it has to suit our aesthetic as well. But you know, it's kind of like, it's their bike, so it has to look like they were going to do it themselves. First of all, the paint, I guess, would be kind of, it was it used to be a matte black. It was a V7 stone, which is a base model. Um, now it's kind of a, it's a Mercedes silver with uh, charcoal graphics. Uh, the seat is like a, I guess they'd call it like an oxblood red seat that has cross-woven stitching. And then basically it's got a lot of black and metal details to, to accent the silver paint. The lighting in the rear is a dual LED with integrated uh, turn signals. Uh, the front is a hella, um, like a fog slash driving lamp. So it does GPS, does your quarter mile times, uh, it does your navigation, does north south, it, it has elevation, it has everything in it. Um, so that's kind of a neat feature of the bike. Tires are kind of a dual sport tire, like an on road, off road. Um, it's pretty comfortable, it's a little bit lower. Um, it's a little bit more of like an urban kind of assault vehicle, if you will, where it's, it has a little bit quicker handling. Um, it's lower to the ground, it's narrower, so you can split lanes with it. The mirrors are inboard. Um, so it's a really good, like, around town bike. So I was looking at, you know, a certain type of bike, and it was a bike that was kind of heritage inspired. A mutual friend came riding with us, and uh, his bike looked just so well done. And he, he said, I, you know, I didn't really do much with it. And he started talking about Brian from Spirit Lake. And he said that, you know, he's just, this kid is just really, really talented, doing things that no one else is doing right now. You know, he's got this like little shop downtown. And one of the things I loved about it was that just looking at it before I even met Brian, just seeing images of this motorcycle, that this thing was different and was really special. So I just got back into riding um, a couple years ago, and you know, for me, riding is a lot about the spirit of it. And so I didn't want a crotch rocket, and I, you know, I didn't want, you know, uh, necessarily a bike with a lot of bells and whistles. The the Guzzi had a lot of spirit to it. You know, it, you know, just the, the orientation of the engine gives it just a different feel. It was very light. It was a lot of fun to ride. So. So yeah, and, and, and the, as far as the black goes, that's, for me, I'm not a big color person. You know, I don't, I don't go crazy on colors. I like things, shades of gray, dark gray usually, and black. I thought that I had a decent eye for design um, and the styling of it. And I thought I had a good sense of what I wanted to see on the bike. Um, and I learned 
over time working with Brian that I don't have that kind of eye. Um, that those guys know what they're doing and they're real artists. And they will go with things that would have scared me at the outset, um, but they make sense when I see them. It's hard for me to envision the finished product because I'm not, I'm, I, I appreciate art, I'm an art enthusiast, but I'm no artist. We immediately connected, both because general like human level, but also like with respect to motorcycles in particular. His philosophy about bikes and building and building the bikes that he wanted to build just made so much sense to me. And that was actually really important to me because of where the, the, the state of the motorcycle world right now is, to me, a little bit, for lack of a better term, too cool. And it's actually, when things get that way, it's the guy that moves over here and decides to do things a little bit differently that I find is always the most interesting and usually proves to be the most interesting with the benefit of hindsight because that's the person that starts to think differently.